few years ago, I met a man named Rich. Lives in Long Island, New York. Rich was born able-bodied. There was nothing wrong with him physically. Uh, and at age 19, Rich got saved. He was converted at age 19. And then just a few years later, in his early 20s, Rich had a motorcycle accident. And it left him paralyzed. No use of his legs. Very, very limited use of his arms. And Rich lived with his brother and his sister-in-law, brother's wife, neither of whom were believers, but Rich was. Every Sunday morning, Rich would ask his brother and sister-in-law to get him up out of bed. They would get him up out of bed, bathe him, dress him, and they would put him in his electric wheelchair. And Rich would drive his electric wheelchair five miles one way to church every single Sunday and he never missed even when it was raining they put a poncho over him and he drove his electric wheelchair five miles one way to church in the rain and the only thing that would keep rich from going to church was if it was snowing and his wheelchair just won't go in the snow other than that he was there the pastor told me, he said, Rich is the most faithful church member I've got. He had bumper stickers on the back of his wheelchair with scripture verses on them. He was quite literally a rolling testimony for Christ, full of joy. Friends, God is glorified in that. Don't you know that all of those people who saw this man in his wheelchair driving five miles one way to church, scripture on his wheelchair, smile on his face. Don't you know that God was glorified in that? And yet we've got prosperity preachers today like Joel Osteen telling us we should have our best life now. Joel Osteen tells a story about how one day he and his wife Victoria were trying to find a good parking spot at the, at the shopping center and, but all the good parking spots were taken, you see, but they just kept believing God for a good parking spot. And so they were just driving around circles in the, in the parking lot, and wouldn't you know it, they were coming down an aisle of cars, and the car in the very front spot pulled out just in time, drove away for Joel and Victoria to come in, and they got that good parking spot up front, and Joel Osteen says, friends, that's the favor of God. Really? That's your idea of the favor of God? Tell that to Rich. Tell that to our brothers and sisters in Christ in other parts of the world right now. Tell that to our brothers and sisters in Christ in Iran, in Syria, North Korea. Tell them the favor of God is getting a good parking spot at the mall in the United States of America. Are you kidding me?